previously on In My 20s. Living alone again. Okay, y'all. Classic update. Just to catch you up to speed if this is the first video you're clicking on, I'm married to this YouTube guy named Ryan Trahan, and he's currently traveling across America on a penny to deliver one to Mr. Beast and raising money through Feeding America. So we're spending about five weeks apart. Yes, we got to visit each other for like an hour, but basically I'm living alone for the first time in my life. I tried to do it once and it didn't fare very well for me, so I've recently found a really great community of friends in LA and two of them visited me. And then I decided, you know what? I'm getting a little bit antsy about this whole living alone thing. I think I'm just gonna run away with them back to LA and hang out for a few days. So this is me going to LA to avoid living alone. <laughs> Hello, I successfully ran away again. <laughs> if you've watched my channel for a while, I feel like I actually kind of have a theme of running away. This is the last time for a while though. Okay, I'm in LA. I have some friends here that I always stay at the same house. If you've kept up with some of the videos you know by now, you probably recognize it. But every time I come here, I obviously don't have a gym, but I think LA would be the perfect place to try to take up running as a hobby because the weather is so nice. Like in Texas, it's over hundred degrees, super humid. Here, there's no humidity and it's literally the perfect temperature all the time. And it's beautiful. Like the scenery here is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna attempt to go on a run and we'll see how far I get. I don't know if I'm gonna get very far at all. I've also never gone on a run by myself. So I'm kind of, I might get spooked and just run back home. So um, wish me luck. Here we go. Should I pretend to run out of the cliff? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I put two fake tattoos on. So if you see those, they are not real. From afar and on social media, they look really real. But on this day, it was actually Bree's birthday. So Mary Blythe and I did a few errands together. First, we just went to a coffee shop, did some journaling, which I'm gonna talk about how journaling literally changed my life a little bit later. Then we also went grocery shopping, get the supplies for a little beach day for Bree. Okay, we're at this grocery store called Air One, and there is a $17 smoothie. It's a collaboration with Hailey Bieber, and we're gonna try it. But my excuse is that I'm putting it in this vlog and for TikTok, otherwise, this is absolutely insane, it's but this strawberry. is- I heard it's really good, but this is like the most insane LA experience ever. The most LA thing you can do. And it's a 20 minute wait right now. <laughs> <laughs> we really going out for it. Who thinks I should move here? Raise your hand if you think. Should she move here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so nice. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> This ended up tasting like a regular strawberry smoothie from anywhere. We're on our way to set up Bree's birthday on the beach. My full reactions to the $17 Hailey Bieber smoothie is on my TikTok, but we got a bunch of charcuterie board stuff from Trader Joe's. Their blueberry vanilla cheese is the best thing ever. And then we had an hour drive to Malibu and Mary and I love to go into our backlog of music and just absolutely sing our hearts out to each other. So then when we got to the beach, we pulled out this wooden table that we actually took from their living room and then we put a cloth over it and then we just started putting all the charcuterie board foods onto the table. Not really many plates or anything, but it honestly ended up looking pretty good, I think. And then birthday princess Brie showed up and she was just the prettiest little princess there ever was. I already wrote her love letter, so I don't need to go in depth, but if you guys have not seen Brie in some of my other videos, she is the kindest, most creative, most empathetic, and smartest soul I have ever met in my entire life. I met her in November of 2021, so it hasn't even been that long, but I am so absolutely baffled that she has come into my life and I now have the privilege of being her friend. Well, guys, it's like season two's ending. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, but horrible. This was my last day in LA. I got to reconnect with a friend I haven't seen in a long time and then hang out with some new friends. But sadly, it was time to go home. I am back home now. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The 
this second trip was much harder to come home because we're in like the I think we're actually in the fifth week of me not seeing Ryan Yes, I got to see him for like an hour, but that's not the same thing. Okay, here's all my stuff um, I woke up and first thing I did was prayed because I need that today Second thing I did was make a to-do list and then I put on my workout clothes and I'm gonna go work out Because you just gotta force yourself back into the routine and then I made some plans with friends to look forward to tonight and Yeah, all is well. Honestly, I just am kind of excited to get back on trap track make it a goal to cook again Ugh I'm like hearing myself talk, but it doesn't feel like me. It sounds like I'm listening to my own YouTube video I don't know why it's really weird right now Um, I'm like not really awake or like aware of where I'm at right now I stayed up so late and it feels like a fever dream So I'm gonna go to the gym. I think you can tell the effects of me I'm not built for living alone. I know some of you guys are like why is this a challenge? I've been living alone for millions of years. It's a challenge for me. I'm not built for this Okay, you can see the mental effects it's having on me. I'm happy to be home with Spock though Look at how cute he is. Okay, I'm back for the gym. I just did 20 minute stair step where I didn't film it. But I was about to do my Bible study and journal. And guys, we need to talk about journaling because I literally think it was like last episode where I first, actually no, I feel like I've been talking about how I really feel like I'm supposed to journal and that it would just help me mentally so much, but I just couldn't get myself to do it. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna journal about. I'm bored. I just had zero motivation for some reason to do it. And then I did it for the first time June 10th in my last vlog and had like crazy breakthrough, like realized so many things through journaling and I actually felt like free from like a lot of thoughts that I was having that were reoccurring or just like understanding why the thoughts were happening and then I would like kind of journal consistently but now I don't know what happened within the past few days I think it was also because I wrote Brie a letter for her birthday and I just that was more of like a me writing something you know not journaling but me really writing and I completely forgot that writing is something that I love so much I used to love it in school I did like UIL for creative writing I don't know if you know what that is but I loved it it was like a huge passion of mine when I was 17 I started journaling stuff that I thought was gonna make it into a book <laughs> And then I like gave up on that for some reason probably because I was 17 and I was like I'm not publishing something at 17 That's weird. Not that it's weird, but I just wasn't I was like, what is this even gonna be? Anyways Now I've been journaling every day and I literally don't understand how I was living life beforehand I was aware that I wasn't aware of my emotions But being able to journal now has like changed my life. I can't even describe it So if you're just like wondering on how to start doing it basically I would just start with like the setting that I was in like oh today is the first day back from LA it's morning day blah blah, blah. and you start talking about how I feel maybe events that happened which lead to feelings and then from there it would lead to like revelations about things like me understanding how I work or how God works or how like why a situation is the way that it is and then I would like read my Bible and then really stop and be like okay what does every word mean let me look up the definition of all these words let me journal about any thoughts that come to mind for this and then I would like understand it so much better and so now I'm kind of in my writing era <laughs> I'm in my journaling era. There's a page in here that says one-liners and it's just things that someone said that I thought was really cool And then my thoughts on that does this make any sense? It's hard to just give examples because it's gonna like be so different for everyone But I just had to tell you how much journaling it has been changing my life in the past like 10 days It's crazy. So now I'm actually excited to do that and it's like therapy Like I feel like if I don't get to journal that I'm not gonna have a good day. So here we go Be selling things are well What facts belong it's hard to say so hard to tell but we're together that's good morning i did not have a productive day yesterday but i kind of need to today i just got spock's nails trimmed yes i don't do them at home it's way too freaky i just take him in for 10 minutes and get them done so that's good i need to unpack do laundry and i'm actually gonna open all the packages that i got while i was gone because i have some really exciting ones gulani kini sent me a package oh i bet this is hannah maloche's wait oh i'm so excited this is probably all the bikinis congratulations hannah this is so cool we have this top oh these are so cute i love the material of this one Cute. Ooh. They have some for guys. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Yay! It's like a beach towel. Well, not a towel, but like a thing to put out. You know, a coconut bowl. Ooh, a hat. That is. Oh my gosh. I need to stop saying the word cute, but it all is. It's a seashell with candle in it, and it smells really good. Thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, another collab <laughs> is with Every Jewels and the What We Said podcast. I love that podcast. I was actually on it a few years ago. It's probably a really awkward episode at this point, so don't go back to listen to it. But I'm very excited for this package. Look at that. Look at that. There's this heart one. I love this one. And then there's two separate best friend halves. Thank you for sending me this. I love it. Ooh. I bought this book called Unoffendable. It's a Christian perspective of why you should be unoffendable. Hopefully I'm unoffendable by the end of reading this. I also bought this myself from Bando. 
which is where my planner's from. I'm really into writing again, and I wanna write people letters. So I bought this. It says 52 letters tear out and send. The cutest little book ever. Cute. Each one is like a letter that you can tear out and send. That is so cool. Wait, this is something that I'm gonna have so much fun with. Are you kidding? I am obsessed. I love this so much. Y'all don't understand. Each one has a little prompt, and you can just tear them out and send them. I got this massive package from Fleur. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, is this wine? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Hey! Ooh, it's a new perfume, Apricot, Apricot Privé. I want to smell it. I tried one of their perfumes on TikTok that was supposed to smell like the smell of missing someone. Ooh! It says, it's juicy, it's woody, it's sweet, it's private. What? Wait, that smells way better on the skin than in the bottle. Low key. Oh my gosh, whoa, I just had a flashback to something I used to use at Lush. Smells like this. Mm. <laughs> Thank you to every company that sent me something. This was this was a really good package opening sesh. I want to go write my friend's letters now. Mm. I loved this episode so much. I feel like I'm going to look back on it and remember how transformational of a week it was. I don't know if I really expressed that, but truly the journaling, the running, the listening to worship music, the being around friends that I am so grateful for. It was just a phenomenal week and go journal and tell me how it goes. I want to see what happens if you do it too. I'll see you guys next week.